Garrick Ortega himself is saying that Well, Garrick Ortega himself is saying it's not enough just to take his word for it, his word for it. He's accepting the need for strict mechanisms, perhaps by the United Nations, to ensure that the Sandinistas live up to their promises. Garrick Ortega himself is saying it's not enough just to take his word for it. Well, Garrick Ortega himself is saying that it's not enough just to take his... Eric Ortega himself is saying it's not enough just to take his word for it. He's accepting the need for strict mechanisms. He's accepting the need for strict mechanisms. Who's anybody on this line or? Has he really changed or is he still a convinced revolutionary, revolutionary who is just using a new tactic? Well, Garrick Ortega himself is saying it's not enough just to take his word for it. And what he is saying and accepting is the need for strict mechanisms, perhaps to be put in place by the United Nations to make sure that the Sandinistas live up to their promises. Ed Rabel, Managua, thank you. Here it is. Could you do the whole thing up about a foot? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's washed out. It's not defined. I know exactly what you're saying. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I want, yeah, I want it to be defined. Yeah. Defined. Oh, sure, I know what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, you call it. Whatever you want. Down? Take the whole thing down a little. Dun, 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 You know that? You know the opening of the blues? I know, I know that one, yeah. Could you guys play that? We might can play it a little bit, though. You know what? Let's, can we put this on the sound system right now? Yeah. When he goes, opens his mouth, and it'll be 9, 3, 59 seconds. Who's going to tell him? Tell him what? When to come in and where to go. That would be me. That's me. I will be advancing him, hence the advancing. <laughs> the advancing him. This is what I want to do with him. I was stagnating him every other one because that this way it makes it look. And can we get one more? This one just droops down too low. Where is it, Evan? Let me just send it. We don't need. First of all, why don't we just do two on each side? It's gonna be too. I think it's just gonna clutter. It's too cluttered. It is. This is this, this was what Frank wanted. I know. I know. <laughs> why don't we just do two? I think we should two. appropriate for a flag. They're saying that they're shooting into the lights here. We, guys, chill, relax, okay? We're trying to work with you. Why are you like trying to bust everyone's ass here and start a revolution? We're gonna have a nice pen and everything will work out. Relax. Peter, can I speak with you? We're gonna move up with our video camera because these no. guys are all gonna kill us. No, they, they do, no, they will not. Nobody, I'm having everybody who's a camera oh, right. check the shot. You know what I'm saying? All right. You guys, are, that's what I'm saying. If anything's in the shot, they're gone. I, you know what I'm saying? Could you check your camera, actually? Ira, you can't kill me with this shot. OK. Right over there, that riser you can do, use to shoot. Over here, you can use to shoot. You, I can put you over here, but I'm not gonna, you just can't stand right in front of the podium and shoot. You won't even see us when the crowd's down front anyway. We're not going to hold cameras up. I mean, it's... I give you my word. I, won't no, I, I, I understand, but it's, this isn't like my first event, guys. I've been doing this for, like, months and months. And, and the thing is, I've been told I'm tired of every shot this photographer's in it. All we're doing is, this is super, this is our election night, and I can't, I mean, I'll work anything you guys want, but you can't just be there. No, 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 no. I don't want him in the shot. Yeah, no, no, no. What you could do is, see over here, there's a back door. You could stand up there and just get him coming in, and then when he gets to, then when we tell you to break off, there's a back door, you can just come right around. You want to see that? Let me show you. You got everything under control? Okay, do it, do it, do it. Let me show you. You gotta go? Yeah. Peter? Just let him, let him take 
take a few shots, then he's down. Okay, now. Now get him down. He, okay, get down. Dolphin! No, oh, I was not in his shot. I was, that's what I was telling you. Television, guy, television. I don't give a shit. I, yeah, I do give a shit. You were in the shot. I saw you on the monitor. Where do you think I came from? You were f***ing right on the monitor. I that's, that's a nice shot. It's a great shot. Good one. <laughs> Thank you. I guess because this is the city I was born in, I get to be first. Before Clinton was shooed into office, he had to compete against a host of other Democratic candidates. The media focused on four of these candidates, but there was a fifth candidate the press did not report on. There's no makeup here? This is Larry Agron, a former mayor of America's largest master plan city, which received a United Nations award for its environmental vision. Polls during the New Hampshire primary said Agron had 2% of the vote, then it doubled to 4%. They promised to bring this stuff over. One, two, three, four, five. Usually I talk at this level. How about if I run over that super saver? I would say that's... One of Agron's staff had to run over to the super saver and buy some makeup because the network had broken its promise to provide it. This was typical of the media's treatment of Agron. When he appeared at this Democratic candidate's forum, this Associated Press photo simply cropped Agron out of the frame. During the New Hampshire primary, the TV news reported the polling numbers of the top five Democratic candidates, Clinton, Songas, Harkin, Kerry, and Brown. When Agron moved into a three-way tie with Harkin and Brown with 2% of the vote, most of the TV news didn't mention Agron. The day Bill Clinton spoke to 50 million viewers on 60 Minutes was the same day that a poll showed Agron's support at 4%. He had passed Brown and was the fifth leading candidate. When the ABC Evening News reported this poll, they simply deleted Agron entirely by not reporting his rising candidacy. During the New Hampshire primary, Agron's only live commercial TV appearance was through this satellite feed to ABC's Nightline. But the Nightline program wasn't directly about the election. When Agron complained to news executives about his lack of coverage, he was told he had not earned the right to media exposure because he had not received enough media exposure. And on stage, the five major contenders for the Democratic presidential nomination. They're just about set. Although Agron was on the ballot in nearly half the country, he was barred from most televised debates, including this one sponsored by the League of Women Voters. He couldn't meet one of the League's main criteria, which was, quote, recognition by the national media as a candidate meriting media attention, unquote. Without media exposure in the debates, Agron couldn't quickly receive federal campaign funds and his candidacy lost momentum. Uh, you looked all right on camera. What's that? You look all right, there's no hot spots. So. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, you say I got a mustache that shows through here. Okay, Why don't you go get some stuff, Mike? I am going to go get some needles. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Campaign funds. <laughs> <laughs> 